Have you brought your coffee? Uh, no, I'm afraid I haven't yet. Thank you for reminding me. I'll get it now. I always buy one, of course, like everybody else. Must keep a poppy day going. I sometimes wonder whether people nowadays buy their poppies out of a sort of good-natured habit, or just because everybody else does it. I don't think they really appreciate why the money is needed, and how it is spent, and so on. And are you one of those people? Well, I suppose it comes down to it, I am, really. Of course, I know that the British Legion is doing a grand job, but when it comes to actual details, I am rather in the dark. Will you let me show you where the money goes to? Just look inside this collecting box for a moment. I think there's about a pound in it now. Perhaps you would like to see how this typical pound was used by the British Legion last year. This pile, representing 13 shillings and eightpence, out of every pound we collect, is spent on homes. All kinds of homes. Homes for permanently disabled men. Homes for veterans from the forces who have no friends or relatives to care for them. Convalescent homes for men and women who are signed off by the doctor but really need a period of extra rest. Special homes for men who are fighting a winning battle against TB. Some that we have helped ex-servicemen to buy who have been living in bad conditions. Others that families going through a rough patch have been able to hang on to by timely loans and grants. You know, the families who have been housed already by the British Legion in this way could fill a town of about 40,000 people. And besides homes, there are jobs, work and training, which restores self-reliance to men discharged from a sanatorium and speeds their rehabilitation. Yes, I can see already that the Legion has done a great deal for its members. Well, not only for its members, but for all ex-service men and women and their families. Out of every 10 ex-service people we helped financially last year, eight were not members of the Legion. Now here is some more of our pound. To be precise, two shillings and ninepence, which was the amount out of every pound collected that the Legion spent last year on helping people with their other problems. Immediate aid in cases of distress is given by our 5,000 local voluntary service committees, filling gaps in the state welfare schemes, giving expert advice on employment, getting better pensions and so on, and providing immediate financial help in all those everyday worries of business and domestic life that may so easily beset the ex-serviceman and his dependents. And that leaves three shillings and sevenpence of our pound. Apart from a few pence for administration purposes, the rest goes on our actual poppy day service, including the production of over 40 million poppies and 70,000 poppy wreaths a year. The poppy factory at Richmond gives regular employment to at least 300 badly disabled ex-servicemen with families. But some men are so badly disabled that they can't get to and from the factory. So now we take or send the materials to their own homes so that they can assemble small poppies there and keep their homes going at the same time. And that's our typical pound. If you multiply it by a million, you'll see just what the Legion did with last year's Poppy Day collection. Well, that certainly opened my eyes considerably. It made me realize that everybody's contribution is still needed just as much as ever. Which reminds me, I haven't given you mine. Ah, well. Oh, thank you. And thank you, too, in advance. For I'm sure that when your poppy seller stops you, you will remember the urgent need the Legion has for your contribution and the good use to which it will be put. So will you help us, please, this year, to reap a record poppy harvest? 